The following segment contains sponsored content. The opinions and views expressed belong to its sponsors and not those of Next Star Media Incorporated, this station, or their affiliates or employees. And I'm loving living local. I'm in local cause it's where I love to be. Welcome back to Loving Living Local. I'm Gretchen Wirtz, and today we're talking women's health with a great new place here in town, Destiny for Women Health Clinic. And joining me today is Kate Smart, uh, the director over there. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me, Gretchen. This has only been around here for a, a few months now. Tell us what Destiny is all about. We are a clinic that helps women to understand their, their options and we do ultrasounds and uh, sexually transmitted infection testing and treatment. Okay. And I don't know if people are aware, but Peoria is ranked in Pretty the top high. 30 in yeah. the nation. We used, I think two years ago, we were number one in gonorrhea. <laughs> Wow, okay, so yeah. there's a big problem here, yes. It's a huge problem in Peoria. And, and if you leave that stuff and don't get it treated and don't, I mean, you can face fertility issues, all kinds of stuff down the line. If yes, you get it, yes. So and it kind of remains hidden too. A mm -hmm. woman could have their fallopian tubes damaged and never be never able been to conceive. Up. Okay. Yeah. So people need to come in when they have any kind of questions like that. But you offer a little bit more than that too. I mean, you have classes and education. You're, I, I love the saying on there, where history doesn't determine destiny yeah. on your website. That is great, that's amazing. Great. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I think every day is a new day and mm -hmm. it's a new opportunity to, to live a good life and to become the person that you were created to be. And so we teach classes on uh, friendship because I, I've just observed people have a hard time with <laughs> developing friendships these uh -huh. days. They don't know what that means really. Um, cooking, we teach a class on understanding how your body works and how your fertility works so that we have women come in regularly who had got pregnant on an IUD or the pill or the depot okay. shot. And if they would just learn how their bodies work, they could really understand themselves and know when they can engage in sex and when they should refrain mm -hmm. from it. And so those are the kinds of classes we teach Help. and different things like that. And then we also have a material aid portion, which is uh, we have diapers and clothing and really anything you would need for parenting a child, so. Okay, yeah, I think um, if someone is not sure if they're pregnant or anything, they can get in touch with you because yes. there are options. You've talked about on your site, abortion, adoption, and parenting, and you yes. kind of help with every angle of that and yes. educating people and letting them know what, what their options are. Right, I think so often people don't know they have options. No. <laughs> and yeah. they, they don't understand how the options work and we try to explain that to them. And they sometimes people tell them what they should do and yeah. Yeah. They need to come in and at least learn a little bit about everything and right and, and i think we rush into things it's just as human beings it, we just rush we do things. we rush yes oh this is easy i'm going to do it and right and then later it's like oh maybe it wasn't as easy as i thought so so how do people come in do you have to be referred do you have to have insurance or how do you can no, people walk free, in okay free clinic we do take walk-ins we prefer appointments okay. if possible because it, you know it's hard to squeeze everybody right. in sometimes <laughs> but but it's been really great we have two nurse practitioners okay and um and then a staff of volunteers who are advocates who kind of go through the social history with the women and and we just and explain the options mm -hmm. to them and put, put them in the right direction there and you're located right there on knoxville right 2805 mm -hmm. north knoxville yep, 2805 and so people can uh, stop in there give you guys a call um 740-1111 i think I believe is the web is the phone yeah. number so give them <laughs> yes very good give them a call and and make that appointment and just yeah ask the questions um that's the i i think the first step and you do Ultra, they'll talk to you about ultrasounds, all of that stuff there, and how many you need, or what you need, and everything like that. Right, right. All right, and you have also annoying. something else. How can people get involved, or how can people get more information? Yeah, anybody can really get involved. There's a, um, a prayer called the Spiritual Adoption Prayer that was created by Fulton Sheen in 1973 in, as a response to the Roe v. Wade decision. And we have a little video that we'd like to share with you on that. All right, we're going to show that right now. Thank you so much, Kate, for joining us. Thank you very much.
Mary and St. Joseph, I love you very much. I beg of you to spare the life of the unborn child that I have spiritually adopted, who is in danger of abortion. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The preceding segment contains sponsored content. The opinions and views expressed belong to its sponsors and not those of Nexstar Media Incorporated, this station, or their affiliates or employees.